hi guys uh, there was a question on my channel uh, in the i think uh, last week probably uh, where i uh, had a scenario where i need to get the latest transaction but i also had to get the latest aadhar and pan uh, a few of you uh, have posted the uh, solutions but anyways uh, i promised i will be providing the final answer so uh, here it goes <music> let me revisit what the question was so uh, i gave the scenario that uh, let's say we have uh, such kind of data let me explain it that we have names transaction uh, date and ids but uh, the transaction amounts for that um, uh, maybe depending upon different dates but what we actually need is the aadhar and pan cards for uh, the people who are uh, watching in india may be uh, very well aware of what, what aadhar and pan is otherwise the aadhar and pan you can consider uh, something the uh, which is unique about any per, uh, particular person so uh, the ask for this is that uh, i need the latest transaction for uh, every person along with their aadhar and pan that is these two columns provided that the transaction date uh, obviously should be latest but in case any of these two columns is uh, missing the value of any of these two columns is missing uh, just take the value uh, from the last transaction of that person and that certainly will be having uh, you can uh, consider this as when this person registered so uh, he uh, either would have uh, provided both or any one of them and if he has missed something uh, he will surely be asked um, uh, to provide that uh, when he made the uh, transaction so something uh, sort of that you can consider so uh, finally i just need the latest transaction let's say for arpit i just need uh, 300 and for uh, pratyush i just need uh, 800 because this is the latest and as you can see here uh, he doesn't has the aadhar but for pratyush uh, when he registered aadhar was there so i need this value here so this is very critical type of question that might be asked that um, uh, copying the data from columns to column that is very simple uh, using with column but uh, what happens when you uh, are asked to copy some data from one row to another given in some group or whatever may be the condition so uh, this was my question to my uh, gk code labs community and uh, they provided some uh, sql uh, solutions which i didn't find um, like uh, they were Uh, very close uh, they were correct but uh, they were uh, not um, uh, very much configurable and i promise that uh, you can try all this but uh, i'll provide the solution so this is the session where i'll be providing the solution code i already i have written uh, i'll tell you um, uh, what approach i have taken i think uh, uh, without going into the code itself i can tell you what approach i have taken so um, uh, right now here you can see uh, there might be chances that uh, like for pratyush you can see uh, i can take aadhar value as the um, lead or lag functions as well the previous value for that window let me uh, color code it just to uh, make you understand a little bit better for uh, pratyush you can see if i need uh, the aadhar value for uh, this particular window so what i can do uh, i can take a lead or lag depending upon your window function i can take a lead lead or lag uh, it does nothing but uh, for that particular group it will take the value of next column so uh, easily uh, this can be uh, copied here right uh, with a lead function 
but what if your window itself is not uh, definite so i can have uh, 50 transaction for arpit 50 transaction for vivek pratyush prashant anyone so i cannot uh, provide a definite lag or lead value that you need to lead with one row because in this case as you can see it needs to lead with two rows then only this uh, value will get copied here right so um, in that case what you should do and that is uh, the requirement uh, i need the latest transaction first of all latest means the latest date and i need uh, these two values are mandatory if it is missing i need to take it from the last transaction so uh, this should be here something like this and uh, similarly and i need the latest so this doesn't matter for me so in such cases uh, when you are supposed to do something on the window function and you are uh, provided uh, to get all the values you can try it out on yourself but uh, there is no other option than uh, doing a self join so basically what you have to do is do a self join where take this table i'm uh, telling this th theoretically first so um, i believe that is most important in uh, such kind of use case so uh, what you have to do is take the latest transaction for each uh, name in this case or each uh, group keys which is name in this case uh, like arpit will be one group uh, vivek pratyush and prashant so total four groups take the latest values and obviously uh, we can make a, uh, a window function on that uh, we'll see in the code uh, in uh, some time and uh, do a self join on same data frame with the oldest value for each group that is for arpit the oldest value and for vivek anyways uh, the oldest and newest are same and for pratyush this will be oldest this will be the latest one and uh, same for prashant this has the single value so uh, do a self join on uh, the latest values and the oldest values and then uh, try to gather these columns depending upon whichever is not null obviously which is not null because for arpit aadhar and pan will be unique as i told so if it is not here it should be in the oldest value as it is given to us so if we somehow make this transaction join with uh, something like this right and uh, we just take if anything is missing uh, this was like this sorry and then so uh, because i copied so that was a bit confusing but i if i take the oldest value and try to join with the latest value so uh, you see uh, these fields are same transaction amount i can take from left side aadhar card and pan which are the main uh, elephant in the room we can take the colis colis means uh, whatever is the first not null value so in this case this is not null so this will be taken and the pan card will be uh, the aadhar will be colis of this and this so obviously this is not not null so this will be taken and pan card uh, will be also colis of this and this obviously this is null so this will be taken and uh, that actually serves our purpose right so this was the approach that i have taken and uh, there is no other option because uh, on the single table if you take uh, just the small glance i am uh, providing that uh, on the single table if you are taking this uh, obviously if you group on some column and you don't select all the columns those uh, columns will be uh, moved away from the final result.
so that also you don't want uh, you need all the columns so uh, there is no other option uh, than join so uh, that is the only thing that uh, um, I thought of if you have any other solution just uh, let me know and let me uh, walk you through with the code that I have written for this so uh, you can see um, the data I have read and the matter columns and all uh, you can ignore right now whatever uh, I have dropped so uh, two window specs I have created which will be partitioned by name uh, uh, because we need uh, everything with name and uh, then we want to order by transaction date so uh, there will be two window specs there will be ascending and descending uh, the descending one obviously uh, will have descending and uh, we can create rank columns and uh, wherever rank is one and one is sorted on ascending and descending so basically it is sorting out on the first uh, column of that window why this uh, win spec because this uh, acts upon uh, the color that you are seeing not on entire data frame then finally uh, when you do a self join there are multiple uh, issues in spark internal uh, architecture um, that anyways uh, many jiras are going on so for that reason just to simplify I have written this three line of code where uh, for the other table it will just rename it so that we don't have confusion uh, that what column has to be dropped or uh, taken and uh, then we do a self join and uh, we can take uh, Aadhaar and PAN you can see I am taking a colleagues of Aadhaar and new underscore Aadhaar and new PAN PAN and new PAN which is nothing but the same column of the oldest record uh, which are renamed to new underscore the column name so for uh, the oldest record it will be new underscore pan and new underscore Aadhaar and our uh, final data frame uh, can be obviously this will be the final data frame but it will have the both uh, uh, fields and we don't need new underscore uh, um, uh, fields and all so I'm just dropping it using the fold left I believe you know fold left uh, just for the recursive uh, operations uh, we used it I have already explained uh, if you have any confusion just let me know and uh, let me run it mm -hmm. something happened I think something okay I think I okay let me run it again so you can see the data is perfectly copied so uh, arpit has the latest transaction 3 uh, which is this one and then transaction id 382 the latest one and uh, 300 is the transaction amount and this anyways uh, i copied that yes this was earlier so pan was not here i just did control z uh, just to uh, be clear so uh, pan was uh, null and right now you can see pan is there and uh, for let's say pratyush for pratyush you can see the uh, transaction amount the latest is five first of all the date so 5 is the latest and transaction amount 800 and here the Aadhaar was missing but you can see Aadhaar has come here right so that was the basic ask and uh, I hope that was clear with this code and the explanation if you still have any question just let me know but uh, this was a critical question that was uh, been asked in one of the interview and uh, this was the solution here on GK Code Labs. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to GK Code Labs if you really liked it. See you later. Mm -hmm.